Okay. Good morning, everybody. I hope we're all doing very well. Please cue my cute little matcha with ice cream, weirdly. Um, but welcome to this vlog. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you this morning as I just like update you on what's been going on because I went and saw my surgeon this morning. I've just gotten back. I was not dressed like this, by the way. I've literally just popped this on because I'm gonna be doing my makeup, but. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give you a bit of a date. I'm gonna just be here so I can see myself. I need to get one of those headbands. But, yeah, so my surgeon, he is really happy and yeah, I'm really happy with my progress. I let him know that I've got, um, I can't feel like in this side of my nose or my like top lip and that my teeth were really hurting. And he was like, it's completely normal because there's actually, um, oh, for those of you who don't know what happened, um, go to, I'll link my uh, previous update about my big fall. But anyway, just so you are up to speed. Um, so yeah, and he was like, that's completely normal because there's a nerve that actually runs over my um, cheekbone, like in here. So it like a sensory nerve, it wasn't a muscle nerve. That's why I can like still move my lip and my nose, I just can't feel anything and there, there might be a bit of nerve damage or bruising so it could take up to like 6 months or even like 12 months for it to feel normal again um, so it's like, completely fine um, I'm going to see him again in 6 weeks for discharge but he, like we're just more about like managing pain at the moment and I'm only on now I'm only on like Panadol and Ibuprofen but he's like get off the Ibuprofen because that can cause a bit of like um, stomach issues. So like stay on panel if you really, really want, which I might just for the nerve pain because it can get quite uncomfortable. Uh, but I'll just really want to see how it goes because I really want to just try and like wean off it as fast as possible. Because literally it is, what time is it? It's 9.40 um, and it's Friday the 1st of September. The day I'm filming this, like you won't see it for a couple of weeks because I've got, I want to film that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm putting my makeup on because I'm actually going to be filming the vlog about updating you on what has happened. And that's going to go up Monday. But I also like, and wanting to film the next update, which is that I've seen my surgeon. And that's why my room is a mess. That's what we're doing in today's vlog. We are cleaning this room because I only got back to my apartment after staying with my family for like, I only got back last night. And it is a mess because we left it in a mess. Like everything is everywhere. My obviously my partner and my mom did amazing, but like they don't know where everything goes, so they kind of just like chucked it all. And like my doona's like over there and everything. So we're gonna be doing that. But yeah. So anyway, back to what the surgeon was saying. He's really happy. Ooh, losing everything. Um, keep doing what I'm doing. Keep um eating like a soft diet and um, because because of the nerves and stuff the nerves and stuff um, because just like it helps with strengthening like slowly strengthening my cheekbone because of there's like the muscles in here that are to do with everything so yeah he was really happy and I'm really happy he's happy with how it looks like it looks pretty normal like you, I reckon you can like you can hardly tell that I've had a week a week and like a few days ago I had reconstruction reconstruction surgery like you can only really tell because I've got still a little bit of swelling here I can't fully speak obviously um, and yeah like pretty impressive I'm so I can't find my brush I'm just gonna use my fingers um, so yeah I can't believe what has happened over the past two weeks like two weeks ago today literally almost this hour that I'm filming I was on the ground crying and praying that the amber would get there because it took like I think it took like half an hour but yeah I would have explained all of this anyway so I won't go too into detail but yeah anyway so I'm just yeah thought I would get ready with you guys and I'm not sure if I would have talked about it maybe I'll mention it now that I'm doing a bit of 
obviously I might have mentioned it in a previous vlog but a bit of transition into my YouTube channel. I think now that I'm no longer going to, not that I'm no longer going to America, I will update you on that, but I'm not going to America in two weeks today because I would have been leaving on, now that I can tell you, I would have been obviously leaving on the 15th of September, which is two weeks away, but I'm not doing that anymore because I'm not allowed to fly for six to eight weeks. So we are, yeah, so I thought I'd like, hey, I was like looking at my YouTube channel going, I really want to continue doing YouTube channel, but I'm just not like, I'm not growing as fast as like I would like to. I'm really okay. Like, obviously we are growing and I'm so grateful for your view, but I'm like, you know, like I had so much growth earlier on and then it kind of like slowed for a little bit. So I was like, okay, what can I do to like give, the, give you guys like more content of what you want and like also continue doing what I want to do? which is lifestyle, fashion and travel. And I was like, well, I'm not traveling now to the next year. I did so much contour, can we just say? I thought, I was like, all right, we're gonna, I reckon, let's try do two uploads a week. Um, and like, just, you know, that's what I was noticing in what everyone else was doing. Like, not that I want to compare myself or anything. I was like, I think that might be a bit of a better thing to give you guys more to see, more in my life and like just more in my life. I think I had noticed that I wanted to do lifestyle but it was very much like not, not it wasn't staged, like it's very much my life but I was like I'm only going to film when I go and do something cool, like not just like be around the house. Literally in my t-shirt doing my makeup that is a Star Wars t-shirt I literally bought this to wear it to Disney World so I was like well I'm gonna wear it right now because I'm not going for ages or like I don't even know so I thought let's transition let's continue doing I'm gonna continue obviously giving you all my uh, like fashion stuff that I love I continue to do Ralph Lauren stuff and just but we're gonna elevate it I'm gonna give you more insight into my life and just try and do it easy so that it's not over overpowering for me because I was getting quite like stressed previously because I was like really structuring my videos so I was like I don't have enough time to do my own like working and YouTube but hopefully with this new transition we'll be good So yeah, in today's video, I thought, yeah, I'd do my makeup, update you on how the surgeon was happy. Um, I'm going to film the actual, like, this is what happened. Um, and that's going to go out on next week, early next week. And then I'm also going to, yeah, just clean up my room with you guys and, like, get you back. Get it to where it was before the, what happened. And then I think I'm probably going to, like, end up doing videos on, like, fixing my underbed storage that is terrible at the moment and like updating my wardrobe and all those kinds of things because that's kind of what I wanted to do before but I because I was preparing for America like those were like at the end of my what I was thinking and like updating my bathroom I've got to pluck the one up on my eyebrows and I just cannot be bothered right now also if anyone knows of a really good eyebrow um like a really good eyebrow setter I want it because I do like the, this hourglass one but I am struggling with its stain because I move my eyebrows so much yeah all right I need to get eyeshadow and then do my mascara so, yeah so I have like a whole like YouTube strategy I'm gonna be trying to implement I'm talking like a corporate girly because I work in the corporate industry strategy I'm literally I still want to have fun but I'm like we're gonna have fun but organized fun <laughs> so it's gonna be thought out planned out a little bit more like I was obviously planning my videos before and like saying I'm gonna film this one I'm gonna film this one but now it's really like a lot more it's also just a lot more content so I need to be on top of it and I also need to be on top of like when I'm filming Oh golly, let's just, yeah, yeah, and also I'm just going to look at updating my camera soon because I think I need something that's like, 
it's just better. This is just like, this is my dad's camera. I've been using this since I started because I was like, I'm not gonna buy a camera. I'm gonna see if I wanna keep doing this, which I definitely do. So I kinda like need a camera that's better suited to vlogging because at the moment, this one is kinda like, whenever, I, and you would've noticed, like whenever I film, it's really like shaky because like it doesn't do very well with stabilizing. And I'm obviously like moving my hand around and my hand's not like gonna be perfectly still. Like even now it's a bit like, um, but, yeah so i need something that can do stabilizing better i need something that can do like wider shots because i'm filming in my room and my queen size bed is so big that when i'm trying to film my full body outfit you can't see my feet because my camera just can't yep, i have it on the widest setting right now like it is as wide as it can go and you can't even see like my whole room my mirror is right here but you know what i mean so okay that is that done now let's uh, i'm gonna clean my room this is just horrendous i'll show you how bad it is but like yeah makeup's done set to film that clean my room film the video yeah what am i else what am i gonna do with my day drink my matcha i'm not also i don't know if i mentioned this before but i don't know if i'm a matcha girl I really want to be because I just think it's so cute to drink a green drink. I don't know why. I also don't love sucking on a straw right now um, with my mouth up. Yum. Okay. I'll show you my, how bad my room is and then we are going to clean it. Okay, just to give you a feel for what it's like. <laughs> I've got two. Alright, let's... I reckon I'm gonna pick up my makeup. No, I think I'm gonna do over here first. Let's move my mirror. My light's on. I might turn that off. So it's on me. Yeah, you can still see me. It's dark, but it's so, it's so close. I'm gonna move my mirror over here. That's fine. Yeah, you know, you can see. So, alright. I reckon clean top of that. Everything that's gone down the side of my bed. Remake my bed. Clean on top of my dresser. We'll go from there. And I'll unpack my suitcase. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. So that's now exporting. I'm gonna go get some food because it's 3.30 and then get some cleaning products and keep cleaning. Let's get some dishwashing liquid and some sprays and stuff, I think. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep going with that. My room is still not. I want it to just be like everywhere I look is like it's back to like being at least like what it was before organized. So yeah. I'll let that chug away and we're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I 
forgot to film in my video something that I was like, I'm going to tell you guys later. But it was this beautiful note that I got from one of the nurses, like, as I was leaving, when I was, like, crying, that I would have told you all about. And it says, Dear Lauren, hope you... Uh, yeah, because I don't think um, English was the best, but it's okay. I hope you all the best back home. Feel sorry about what happened today. It's overwhelming. We see bright side, or we see the bright side of people when we're walking in the dark. We feel loved when we're in pain. You're not alone. Keep fighting. All the best, Vanessa. So huge shout out to my beautiful, beautiful. Um, nurse Vanessa she was so lovely and she walked in and she gave me this and I was like oh thanks thinking it was like the prescription that I would be needing because I was leaving she's like oh yeah and then I opened it and I was like oh it's it's a note and she came over and hugged me I was like oh like nearly crying again because of that but I completely forgot to tell you in the video so here it is it's just so beautiful yeah I was like I don't know what to do with it now I kind of want to frame it and like put it somewhere so yeah anyway food I need food Hello everybody. It is now like 10.30 at night and I am just going to take off my makeup finally because I am currently standing out of this light which is right in front of my mirror because it's really bright because I want to talk to you. But um, I'm just going to yeah take my makeup off now. I've been editing the whole afternoon. I got one video going up. I've already been filming, wrapping up this one so I edited all that one. That one's, I've started to edit. For some reason my computer was just taking forever. So I'm just using these rose ink like cotton pads and taking my makeup off with some micellar water. Um and yeah. So that was just my very easy Friday because I didn't have work today because it was the last day. I was taking off on sick leave from work, uh, which to be honest, like, yeah, I could have worked, but I was also like, you know what, I'm going to have a solid two weeks of not working considering everything that's happened. And yeah, not work, so now I've just got the weekend, and I'm going to be doing a bit more filming, that's okay. We're working through it. I'm being like so careful on my left hand side, just because... It's just a little bit painful when I like I'm rubbing on the skin because obviously it's gonna take up to six weeks to heal. Ah, just, okay, I feel my nose. I'm just taking my um, CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I'm just gonna cleanse and then I'm gonna go over with my what is it? Yeah, my Clinique clarifying. Uh, exfoliator, which is like a kind of exfoliator. So I'm just gonna wash my face quickly. to watch it like not fall back into place but like adjust back into what my normal was and like try and see if there is a difference which not really but my cheekbone sticks out <laughs> so I'm happy just got to get this little bit to go down it's gonna be a while Uh, 
Also, I have fallen in love with Bigu. This is my new favorite product of all time, the hydrating thing. Oh, it's so nice. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, yeah. It's so nice, so yeah. I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Neutrogena on my nose, just cause that's where I find my problem area. Um, there are other nights, other nights of the week I'll put like more all over my face, um, but this evening we're just going to do my nose and we're going to slug for a bit of hydration, considering my scars definitely need a little bit. So, popping this on the face, just a little bit. the other night was like and then woke up the next morning and my skin was like glowing not right now because I'm right up to the light but like Vaseline it's the way to go ow 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 cheek red head just slightly just slightly and then a little not as much on the forehead I'm not going to apply any more to my fingertips just what ow is left over residue. They, the surgeon said that my temple area would hurt as well, even though it's not damaged apparently, um, only the cheekbone, that it would hurt because like my brain, my brain, my skull has been like moved because of the break, because the break would have had to have like stretched it and then they moved it again to get it back into place. So it's probably like, I've been moved a lot. Oh my God. What are you doing to me? Healing you, babe. Healing you. Hurting you first, apparently. And then healing. So yeah. That is my skincare for this evening. So I'm going to go to bed. And I will catch up with you all soon. So, I love you all. Please like and subscribe. We have loads more to come. And I love you and leave you. Bye, guys.